Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be featuring this Mitsubishi Evo 8 Rally Art WRC car um, that I bought off eBay. Uh, the, the seller was selling this thing for $300 ended up negotiating the price to $200 because it did not come with the original box. So <clears throat> it was it got here really quick. Um, but this is the box that it came in. So a typical Amazon box. The seller was kind enough to include a WRC, like a genuine Rally Art WRC hat, uh, with the purchase. So I was really happy with that. However, the one thing that I realized as soon as I got to the car is that the spoiler was off. And then if you look real close, you'll notice that there's glue on it. So this is an auto art car, usually there's no glue. So I'm going to have to clean this off and reattach it to the car. So right now I'm in the process of negotiating a partial refund because the seller also said that the car was in like new condition. It's not really in like new condition. Um, one of, the, one of the things you can quickly notice if you're familiar with WRC cars is that all the antennas are missing from the roof. Another thing that I saw, it has a deflector. So on the hood, it has two um, ear ducts. This, this, these ducts are actually to dissipate the heat from the engine bay in the real car. But there's a deflector that goes along the front right here that's also missing. Another thing that happened as well, um, before I actually started filming this, the, the lens, the driver's side lens right here just was just off. So you can see it's kind of loose, but I'm really hesitant to use glue on this section because I don't want to damage the clear, um, the clear lens. So I might, I haven't decided yet, I might just leave it like that. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere, but you can tell that it's it's free. All right, so overall condition, it's dusty. It's an old model. By the way, this is the Panizzi number 10 version, the Monte Carlo Rally from 2005. So I think, if I, if I remember correctly, that might be the last rally that this Evo participated in, or Mitsubishi in general participated in WRC. They've been out of WRC you now for years, um, but yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to WRC with an Evo 10. Those things are too big and heavy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is go ahead and clean, clean the model. So what I like to do first, I don't like to really wipe surfaces on it quite, a, um, quite as much, but what's good to use is one of these. Um, the clean clean duster or ear canister or whatever. This is really good. So the first thing I'll do is just open all the doors. I can tell that this car was displayed at some time because there's a lot of dust. Let me get this hood open. By the way, I want to give a big shout out to my camera person, Jennifer, for volunteering. All right, get the windshield. So with these, you gotta be real careful because if you if you tilt it, it actually sprays water. So you don't want to do that that could actually damage the, the car. So you can see a lot of dust flying out. Alright. So I managed to get most of the dust off, but there's some spots that's going to need a little extra attention. So right here on the roof, 
couple dirty spots, so be really careful. So if it had the antenna or antennas on there, I'll be extra careful, but because those didn't come on the car, then it's no big deal. So with the with the trunk. I'm gonna reapply glue, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue to make sure that we don't have any issues later on. And while I'm doing this, I'll just touch on some of the areas in here. The interior looks really good. Typical race car stuff. So one thing I want to show you: this this trunk doesn't open like a regular trunk and you can see that there's a spare tire inside there as well as the fuel cell so overall it's a really good condition car not bad but I just wish I wish the owner was more truthful about the overall condition I could tell that he's not like a collector so I can't really knock him as much collectors like me were very meticulous and very particular about stuff when we're buying them so yeah all right so what I'll do I'll use this little nifty tool right here to get this excess residue off the glue residue because I'm going to be applying proper glue this time around so I want to make sure that everything around the area is clean and flat that way we'll get a proper seal I think Mitsubishi gets the award for the ugliest spoiler ever put on a car with this one. I remember the first time you know, I was watching um, Speed Speed Network. I don't think we have Speed Network anymore. It's called something else, Velocity or whatever. Um, <laughs> when this car debuted on WRC, man, I was so pissed. It didn't do well. By this time, um, Tommy Mackinnon went off and drove for Subaru and Subaru started to do much better in WRC and Mitsubishi just kind of fell off because they switched to this bigger Lancia or Lancia CDA uh, chassis which was quite heavy and you could tell because they were struggling they were struggling to keep up with this more nimble Peugeot 206 and the Citroen Saxo or whatever that the, the heck they were driving back then those are tiny and uh, they dominated and even Subaru had a hard time as well so yeah I managed to get a lot of that old glue off it felt more like silicone than hard cement glue there's also some more glue on the back right here so I'll go ahead and carefully remove that. I'll be able to use my fingers to get this off. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not afraid to buy used cars or use 118s. It's just it's always a risk, but sometimes putting them back together if they're damaged is fun. See, it's a good thing I looked. This stupid spoiler goes on this way. It's kind of weird. As you can tell right here. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. Well, look at that. I would have put this thing on the wrong way. All right. Cool. So that's what it's supposed to look like. All right. So 
what I'll do here is um, when you're doing this make sure that you don't use a lot of glue it you don't really need a lot of glue especially if you're using Gorilla Glue just dab it release and then come to this side dab, release and then just gotta carefully there's a little notch right here just put it in So I'm doing this because some of the glue went on the body. You gotta get it off really quick before it sets. And there's some on the side right here. Because some glue, what I realized with Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue is good because it doesn't really damage the paint as much. Like it dries really quick. So you just hold pressure and that's it. So while I'm doing this, I'll close out the video. Um, this is fun for me. Um, I like, like I said, I like repairing cars, model cars when you're broken or whatever. But if you're a person selling used 118 cars, it's always good to just be upfront. Tell the truth about your your car and it will make the buyer more happy. And if you don't have the original box, what I found that works is like if you have a shoe box, uh, my wife was the one who showed me this, this cool way to do it because we actually, for cars that we don't have the original box for, we use actual shoe boxes to put them in and then uh, we use like foam. So anyway, once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it was kind of insightful for you. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to do a full review of this car, but I'm a huge Mitsubishi fan. I'm still happy to have this thing in the collection. And um, if you want one of these brand new in pristine condition, they're going upwards of $500 right now. Um, there's this version, there's two plain body versions. There's a white plain body and a black plain body. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.